Well, hello. It is Monday and I'm starting up another vlog. I will not show my face as there is no makeup on it. And I don't wear a lot of makeup, but a little bit of makeup is the difference between looking human and looking like something that is terrifying. So um, I've actually had three orders so far this morning. Um, one is still upstairs because I just listed it. Um, but someone just bought these three Department 56 Village Lights. I actually had somebody purchase this before and then they immediately wanted to cancel. So $20.99 this time. They are shipping for free. And then a little Hallmark ornament. This one sold for $11.99, I think. Um, both of those with uh, first class shipping. So the other thing that sold was a lot of these, what are they? Noma ornament, Ornamentors? Ona Motors. Uh, these are those things that spun the ornament around. So I had six of them. I remember I did pay 25 cents each and I sold the lot together for 30, 33 something, I think. Yeah, so free shipping on those. And yeah, so this was a good morning of sales because I remember I paid 50 cents for those and it was probably like a dollar 50 cents for that. So good return on investment. All this other stuff I got listed, all of this stuff, <laughs> All of that stuff and all of that stuff still needs to be listed. Okay, time to get back to eBay. I've been neglecting it, her, him, whatever it is. Um, and I have all of this stuff that needs to be photographed and listed. I, of course, have all this stuff. <laughs> but my table over there is occupied with my body shop advent calendars and other stuff that gets thrown there. So, yeah. I really miss, I love the Christmas tree in the living room, but I really miss my banquet table, which is where the tree is right now. I'm like, Christmas tree or eBay table? Christmas tree or eBay table? Which one? And I'm kind of like, maybe I could put the tree on the table? No, it wouldn't fit. Because uh, normally I would just have all this stuff out there. And it's obviously easier to process when it's not crowding me, but... Yeah, anyway, but I can deal with this stuff, so I'm going to start taking some photos. All of these are the um, bags that came in the Thread Up box, which I know people have been asking about, so I'm going to be working on getting those um, listed. Hi, handsome. So Papa is doing the shipping, so I'm having to take a break from work because Charlie wants attention. He says, I need attention 24-7. There can be no breaks. No. Should we check out what Papa's doing? Should we see what Papa's doing? Okay. How's it going, Dad? You're on the vlog. Okay. You having fun shipping? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ship, ship, ship. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye. Money in the bank. Money in the bank. <laughs> Get that eBay tape. What do you, what's your honest opinion of eBay tape? And don't say a profanity. Oh, even Charlie said one. He's like, wow, it's horrible. Free, it's free bay eBay tape. <laughs> yeah. You have to, I gotta get some sandpaper and sand it off. Oh, brother. Well, the things we do just for free tape. Tons of progress made. I photographed all those purses. I photographed all of these clothes. And then I've made a pile. I just need a bag. These are all going to go to the consignment store when they start taking spring, summer. Because I went to the bins once and all they had were shorts. And I got a bunch of shorts. I'm like, I don't really want to list them. They'll sell well there. I've got a bag here of consignment store stuff that I can take now and another bag of spring and summer. So I took my advent calendars in my other room. So now the table will be cleared. So maybe tomorrow I can start to, I don't even know, <laughs> tackle some of this stuff. Might as well. So anyway, but I feel really good about getting this stuff done. And now, of course, I need to edit the photos, draft them, and actually get them listed. So I'm going to make my nut clusters now for the holidays. This year I'm making peanut and cashew. All this is is one bag of butterscotch chips. And this is for each one. So um, first I'm doing the peanuts. So one bag of butterscotch chips, 11 ounces. Then I do two cups of milk chocolate chips. And then I just throw in like a capful of a cooking oil. And then I'll melt this down in the microwave. Um, do it in increments like 20 seconds, 30 seconds. Make sure it gets mixed up. And then what's all mixed, um, usually one can, 16 ounces. If you like more chocolate, you can add a little less. If you like a lot of nuts in it, you know, the whole thing. Um, I kind of 
just see how it goes basically as I'm stirring them in. Um, but I just got these cans. I use the cocktail peanuts. You do want the ones that are a little oily with the salt on them. I think they taste best. And then just scoop them out with a cookie scoop and um, put them on wax paper to cool. That's it. Here's what it looks like after 30 seconds in the microwave. Just starting to get a little soft, but you don't want to just throw it in there all at once. It'll burn. Um, but you can see the oil helps it stay smooth. So put it in another, I'll try 20 seconds and just do 20 second intervals until it is all melted. Okay, it's taken about two minutes of alternating <laughs> um, 20 second intervals to get this melted and it's still a little chunky. Those butterscotch chips are being stubborn, but my hand's killing me so I can't stir anymore. I'm gonna start putting the nuts in. Okay, see about that. See if I wanna go ahead and use the whole can. So stir it up and see. So I did add in the whole can of nuts. But again, you can use less if you want to. So I just have a cookie scoop and I have wax paper on a cookie sheet and just put them over here. Pat them down, let them set. The other way I've done this in the past is to use a mini muffin um, pan and put papers in all the little muffins and then make little cups of the nuts. Kind of like if you got a box of Russell Stover's and the nut chocolates are in the little paper cups, that's kind of how it turns out. So that is um, a little less messy if you're transporting them anywhere, giving them as gifts or whatnot, but these are just for us, so this way will work. So the peanut clusters are done. I make mine pretty big, <laughs> um, but yeah, these will set. You can pop them in the fridge or freezer, make it go faster. So now I'm gonna get out a new bowl and make the cashew clusters. So this time around, I just did the melting in 30 second intervals. So this is after a minute and a half. Worked much better than trying the little 20 second bursts. I'm always worried it's gonna burn, but the oil in there, making sure it gets stirred. So now I'm gonna put the cashews in and scoop those out. Oh my gosh, so good. Which would be your favorite, peanut or cashew? Leave a comment below. So it's after dinner now and I have some more eBay sales. CD for $7.99, a Disney Otter case or Otter Box case for $17.99. Another pack of these Lemex figures, $17.99. <laughs> Two little Disney figurines here, $17.99. And then this lot of flatware for $20.99. I remembered all the prices. All of these items are shipping for free for the buyer not me but I think this yeah that's gonna be over so yeah that'll have to go in a flat rate bubble mailer but again I've had them forever happy to see them go because this is like this is something I cannot take to the consignment store um so yeah got to get it out of here I want that flatware especially I've got so much still and I want it thinned out um from now on I'm not breaking lots up, and I don't think I have too many anymore that are broken up. I might have a few in here, but I'm just trying to focus on the bigger lots and just keeping them all together. It's just easier to list and um, eventually sell, but you can see I have a lot of it still. So it's later on Monday night. I'm so tired. I can barely keep my eyes open, but I have a seminar thing to listen to at 7, although they record it, but I like to catch it live just in case it doesn't save, so... That starts in a few minutes here, but um, I did have a couple more eBay orders. A Life is Good t-shirt for $15.99, and then this little set of Department 56 cars. Um, I think it was a best offer of $30. The person took it, and then, of course, they didn't pay. And then they sent a message about how they cut their finger and had to get stitches and a whole novel, which was weird. I thought, like, they can write me a big old paragraph about how they cut their finger and that's preventing them from paying, but you literally have to click like one button just to pay for something on eBay. I, I just don't know why people just don't tell the truth. So anyway, then they still didn't pay and had to file a claim. So now they finally paid. Um, free shipping on both of these. And this, eh, these are really light, but unfortunately, when they get into a box, this is how I test weights as well. Like when I'm listing things, you just put a box, as long as it's somewhat similar in size to what it will eventually ship in just to get my initial weight 
um, because a box can add a lot of weight. I mean, a bigger box can add a pound or more. So like when I was listing this, I probably did list it one to two pounds, but we'll see what that price is and um, get these out. What do you think of our sales day today? Good. Thumbs up. There's still more people could be buying. Well, that's right. They need to just come buy it all. That's right. <laughs> There's our basket. Want to lay down on the packages and I can put the picture on Instagram like some people do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, Charlie, you want to lay on the packages? No, I do not. <laughs> well, hello. It's Tuesday. Light bulb's out. I want to move to a hotel. <laughs> uh, it's already afternoon. I've had a very busy morning, just errands and stuff. So I only have three eBay orders thus far today. I did go to the uh, consignment store, I cashed out, had a hundred bucks, so that was nice, and dropped two bags off of there. They've already processed it, so that's good. And yeah, now I'm gonna pull the three things that sold. <laughs> I sent a few, no, did I even? I didn't send any offers to watchers because I have 30% off right now, and I just don't really have any more wiggle room on a lot of that stuff considering there's free shipping on it so doesn't stop people from messaging me directly with low ball offers like i don't have best offer so why are you messaging me if i'll take ten dollars on an item that also has free shipping and it's 30 percent off really no 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 i'm not gonna do it anyway let me pull what's sold and i'll sh um show it to you okay here are the three things that sold this is a star wars lego thing 17.49 Six soup spoons, $17.49, and a CD, $7.99. All of those have free shipping. Um, I took some toys over this morning to the consignment store, and I'm definitely going to take more because they priced them quite nicely there. Um, especially these new and packaged ones. So I should just take them there. All the wrapping paper is going to go there. I'm tired of dealing with it. I really honestly, ugh, honestly... If I could just get off of eBay, I would be so happy not to do or be a reseller anymore. Is that terrible? Does anybody else feel like that? It's just, it's so hard right now with everything going on, tripping over everything. My house feels like it's so cluttered, dragging stuff up and down the stairs. It's just, ugh. I wish I could just sell all this and be done with it and make enough money on books and YouTube. But unfortunately, I'm not there, but sure would be nice. I know there's some resellers who make like a full-time income on YouTube and they're just like making videos, you know, to keep that up, but they don't have to actually worry about reselling anything. I'm super envious of those people. So, so jealous. But then again, you have to buy stuff and do all the going through the motions of being a reseller just to make the video content. So it's kind of like you're still dug in a ditch, you know, you still got to do the motions of reselling, even if you don't actually need the money. So then it's still a pain. <laughs> Anyway, take these up and Papa can do some shipping. Okay, here are the three things that sold. This is a Star Wars Lego thing, $17.49. Six soup spoons, $17.49. And a CD, $7.99. All of those have free shipping. Um, I took some toys over this morning to the consignment store, and I'm definitely going to take more because they priced them quite nicely there. Um especially these new and packaged ones. So I should just take them there. All the wrapping paper is going to go there. I'm tired of dealing with it. I really honestly, ugh, honestly, if I could just get off of eBay, I would be so happy not to do or be a reseller anymore. Is that terrible? Does anybody else feel like that? It's just, it's so hard right now with everything going on, tripping over everything. My house feels like it's so cluttered, dragging stuff up and down the stairs. It's just, ugh. I wish I could just sell all this and be done with it and make enough money on books and YouTube. But unfortunately, I'm not there. But sure would be nice. I know there's some resellers who make like a full-time income on YouTube and they're just like making videos, you know, to keep that up. But they don't have to actually worry about reselling anything. I'm super envious of those people. So, so jealous. But then again, you have to buy stuff and do all the going through the motions of being a reseller just to make the video content. So it's kind of like you're still dug in a ditch, you know? You still got to do the motions of reselling, even if you don't actually need the money. So then it's still a pain. <laughs> anyway, take these up and Papa can do some shipping. 